hello, this is Joy Yao. I'm here reporting my 14 weeks out progress. This week, no weight loss, no weight gain, exactly the same. I lost a half an inch off of my waist. Um, I usually weigh on Tuesdays and Saturdays, that's what I weigh in with my coach, and on Tuesday I was 0.4 pounds up, which made me discouraged. I was, if I had to be honest with you, I was really not a happy camper. Um, and then every day I got obsessed and I started weighing myself every day and I would go up a point four of a pound and be, before Thursday I was like a whole pound and four up and I was like I don't know what's going on I'm meticulous with my diet I don't know what's going on so Saturday I weighed in boom I was I equalized and I lost a half an inch off of my waist now totally for the last two weeks it's four pounds and then my total inches loss is ten point five inches which is phenomenal so those are the kind of little things that I had to think about when I was discouraged about not losing weight and I know it's always easy for me to tell people don't look at the scale look at your body fat look at your inches but then when it's like hits you in the face you're like what and what's going on and it discourages you because you, you're thinking about how many weeks are you out and you're like I don't have that much time and you know everybody that competes has that fear of not looking their best on stage not coming in as tight is there something else I could have done differently and speaking of that kind of thing of doing something differently what I do is I have a journal that I keep and you know I don't write on it write in it every day but what I do is I, I write in it at least once a week especially on the days that my, my week weigh ins but every now and then I'll log in something like me not losing weight or how I was feeling so I can always go back and see my thoughts things that I think I should change foods that I think I should avoid or implement and what made me lose that first four pounds and even it made me go back to my journal from back in 2011 and see how I, how my body reacted when I first was dieting and it looks like as I was going back in my research and the way that I usually do things on my contest prep it seems like I'm a I tend to drop big equalize drop big and equalize so I tried I did everything that I could so it wasn't like I didn't do everything I could have and sometimes your body just needs its time to bounce back say okay I, I've lost all this weight and it equalizes so we'll see what happens next week another thing is that I added a pre-workout I, I love this thing here, Jack 3D. This is from uh, USB Labs. I have the raspberry lemonade flavor. That's the one I like. I haven't tried any other flavors, but this stuff here. I mean, if you if you feel like you can't, you like you're 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 dragging. Um, you need an extra energy boost. I just use one scoop. Um, you, it's recommended for you to use one scoop in the in the very beginning, and you can increase two. But for me, one is and is good for me. Um, I've tried a lot of pre workout stuff, and this here gives you a, a whole bunch of energy gets you all tingly at first and then I mean you're like ready to go in like an hour half an hour or so so I definitely recommend this if you need a little boost Jack 3D um, another thing is too um, I was looking at the ingredients and I was thinking that maybe that was part of my cause of my weight gain and then I started to equalize because it has creatine monohydrated it, and creatine tends to give you a little bit of water weight but after sometimes your body would equalize so I think I will I would think that that probably had something to do with it because this is the only thing that I added new to the diet but I wouldn't get yourself like especially ladies I wouldn't get yourself all worked up about a pound or two because you're definitely equalized I really like that then the other thing was um, I tried to take in 30 grams of fiber every day and this is another thing I take it's called fiber lies by species it's a fiber supplement and it's nine grams of fiber per scoop so when I'm a little short under my fiber and I wasn't able to get my fiber from my foods I definitely take a fiber supplement because it helps with regularity um, the other thing that I wanted to share with you is that I got a nice little gift from Lori my brother's girlfriend she got me a bag from Whole Foods and what's great about this bag is that it keeps all your food insulated and cool so that was really sweet. Got that yesterday, a really cute surprise. And, uh, you know, it really made my day. I mean, I was having, you know, one of those days, and it shows that, you know, people around you are supporting you. I mean, the other day, um, I was at the gym with my girl, Nicole, and we're both 14 weeks. We're both doing the same show, and she, you know, is not happy with her progress. I'm not happy, and we were both being miserable together. But 
it wasn't like a true misery. It's just one of those things that when you're a competitor, and you know what I'm talking about if you're a competitor, or if you, even if you're somebody that's trying to lose a lot of weight, um, I just want you to know that you're not alone, okay? Every day is a journey. Every day I wake up and I think about how am I going to tackle this? How am I going to do things better? What plan am I going to do next week so I can continue to succeed? You think about different things that, you know, you can do to help motivate yourself. I say to myself, okay, if I lose another five pounds, I'll buy this or give yourself a reward. Um, it doesn't have to be a food reward, but you know, in, in another way. So anyway, I hope that you continue to listen to my journey. I hope that you subscribe. Um, I will probably be about by the time this whole thing is over, 20 to 25 pounds lighter. That's usually just the way it goes. So watch me as I transform and compete in my figure professional show May 5th. Thank you.